Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to review Chris Jenner's house in Hidden Hills and apparently it's got so many cool designers and designers furniture, famous arts and sculptures. So I'm really looking forward to see this. So before we start the video, can I ask you to please, please subscribe to my channel and like it if you like it and make sure you click on the bell button so you will be notified when I post a video. Also, if you would like, please get and follow me on my Instagram and Facebook and Pinterest and everywhere, basically. So without further ado, let's start. Hi guys, I'm Kris Jenner. Come on in. Okay. Look what you're wearing. Ooh. Nice. I love this house because it has a really open Ooh, floor plan. It makes pretty. me feel really zen and relaxed. So I hope you guys like it. Is, this is the living room. Isn't and a new word that everyone would like to use? The other guy was keep saying it as well. Oh, I love this room. And love the way that the colors just make me feel so calm. Yeah. So it's a real special part of the end of my day. So you can obviously say that that room was interior design. Like if I go back, sorry. Living room. Um, and you can see, so the, I love those metal doors and windows and the left, we call them cr critical doors. So if you're looking to um, buy them for your house, just Google critical doors. And I love how they use the black um, um, railing for the curtains and like very just nice and sleek. Also, sorry for the noise outside, they're doing building work, so I apologize. And I love that finish for the back of the fireplace, whatever that is. Very sculptural, very arty, but then the rest of the furniture is very classic and relaxed. So then you have that as a bold statement piece. Um, so you can obviously say it's been interior design and thought through, which is great. Okay, so carry on. Love the way that the colors just make me feel so calm. So it's a real special part of the end of my day. This is one of my favorite. This room again, very nice. Um, I love the wood finishes and furniture against the white, against the plant. It's always good to have some, bring some green in um, with your plants, especially if everything's very neutral. So you can see all the base is neutral and then they use a dark table and then pieces of pieces of art and warm wooden furniture to bring that warmth in. So that's one of the tricks that often designers use. I love that rug that they have beneath the table as well, but I'm not sure how practical that would be because it's obviously super white. But, you know, I assume she just doesn't care and they barely even have any food there. Or if they split something, spill something on it that she can just buy another one or she might have so many spare ones so. rooms because i love a great dining room and we entertain a lot so this makes it really fun and a little fun fact i bought this credenza from ellen degeneres i love ellen. and it's charlotte perion very fancy shout out to ellen i would love to be on your page. i love the way that this feels because it's a lot of open space the staircase is fabulous and it's Not very calming in this trip. room. I keep using the word calm because I need that in my life. Anyway, I love this room because... So like in this room, I love the fact that how eclectic it is. So eclectic means that when you collect stuff from you know different styles different periods of time and especially when you travel you know you collect things and then it will make the room and space fe feels like that you know you live there for a long time it's not showroom you know you can see all the little chairs and tables that have that little ship next to the fireplace whatever that is but it's very cool also i love that marble um, wall where the fireplace and um, TV is. Uh, it's just all very nice and sleek and yeah, great. Open to the kitchen you can tell it's designed and properly. you can Big see plants. when you're cooking Amazing. and entertaining in this part of the house, everybody can be together. So I love that. Oh. Over here oh. is my Lalonde sheep which I love and I'm very okay, proud of. So the sheep is But the last time I entertained here and Chrissy Teigen came over after one little glass of wine she was riding my sheep i would get <laughs> off before my mom comes i would have done the same probably and beats you. <laughs> so that's a no-no don't sit on my sheep it makes me cranky 
This is a little bar Ooh, from 1955, which just happens to be the same year that I was born. And it opens up and Incredible. it lights up. It's like So one thing I just would like to um, point out is it's amazing to mix old and new together. It's a very, it's first of all a very trendy thing to do, but it also you know, brings more life and character to your house. If you have everything brand new, it will lo look like a cheap show showroom and if it's everything old well it's like old house but when you mix and match but you know you have to know how to do it and you know use the right colors and right um right era like you know you don't want to mix a i don't know a french piece in a, your super contemporary house so it has to be kind of right style from the right period but in the right finish but you know there are so many websites like um, first step is a great website that you can go and they have so many great antiques and they're it's quite expensive but they're um well made and designers so Whoop. of course i have okay. a lighter with my face on it that my daughter made me that is so cool. I want to light it in my We're face. We're in the it. kitchen all the time. We pretty much live here. It's the So I love that kitchen. Again, that same famous white marble everywhere, Calicata at some um, some sort. And I've loved that um, navy, bluey, grey kind of matte paint on those cupboards. And that extracts the house, kind of like a solid metal finish. And the the stools are very cool as well, you know, you can just sit there and have a conversation and I can see they've got a little seating area on the left as well, which is very cool. And I have two sinks for some reason, but... Of the house. Someone's always cooking in here. You can say and start for this show with all those fruits and, and lemons everywhere. And snacks for all the grandkids who come and by biscuits. on a regular basis <laughs> to get a cookie. We have a good time in here. So the piano is one of my favorite things in the house, right over here. Wow. Kanye okay. and Kim gave me that for Christmas a couple years ago. I cannot they play knew a that piano, but I would love piano. to have one Everybody in my house, and maybe that way it will encourage me to learn how to play it. I love my Eves Klein little statue. I this is what that. I one day aspire I like to look like. Anything navy and blue, I'm obsessed with, just so you know. So I love that piece work out hard enough and the powder room um sorry just going back look I like, like if i work out hard enough they've got um black hinges here so you can see so it's a very nice and contemporary way to um do so or you can have it in brass or whatever finish you want but you know they're usually just chrome or something boring but that's just a nice cool little detail and the powder room Tommy and Kathy Clements and Walter Fernandez and the are the designers tats. and did such a great job on the house and I'm thrilled. That's Everything cool. they've yeah. done from I the colors and pieces. the palettes and the stones, textures, just everything the furniture is divine and I love this space. Wow. Thanks so much for coming oh, guys, but short. I got to get back to work so time I to wanted go. to see the upstairs. See you later. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching this video again and please remember to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest and leave comments below if you have any questions about where to get certain furniture or um, where to get the antiques or any questions you have please leave a comment down below and I try my best to answer all your questions and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. Ciao!